All right, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Today I'm going to do a quick story on a guy, a Canadian guy, 70 year old man who lost $2 million in a Ponzi scheme. Okay, fighting against the Canadian authorities to redo his taxes. I think this is a good video as an example. Um, 70 year old gentleman. Um, he basically lost two million dollars and he's trying to write it off as a tax write-off loss and according to uh, the rules of the government here in Canada Revenue Canada is arguing tooth and nail as to why he can't do so okay anyways uh, if this is your first time on this channel find the big red button subscribe and even click on the bell notification icon that way every single time I go live with a new piece of helpful information updates reviews etc you'll be in the know so find the big red button <coughs> excuse me find the big red button subscribe and even click on the bell notification icon if you are looking for a legitimate way to make money online powerful affiliate marketing program underneath this video first link in the description um, if you don't want to ever have to worry about a scam exit ever again um, lucrative legitimate opportunity underneath this video you can get access to that after you watch this video by going under the video and clicking on the first link in the description also guys please like and share this video especially if you get value from it okay so please like and share so here's uh i got this off google google is uh channeling some of the news from yahoo and apparently this gentleman here in Alberta, I don't know if he's out of Calgary, I'm going to read the article, a little bit of it to you anyways. Um, there's a whole bunch of people trying to invest in Ponzi schemes right now. This is a, a little bit of an older story, okay, but this, the case is still ongoing, so it's still very relevant. So this is a man that has lived life, okay, and, you know, based on what he saw was an opportunity he had access to revenue and he funneled two million dollars worth of his own money along with his wife's money into an opportunity called base finance now base finance scammed out a few years ago and a whole bunch of investor losses and the people who owned that, they were fined not that much, 5000 in fraud. Okay, both were arrested. The owners of Base Finance was Susan Elizabeth Way. That's the office manager. And Arnold Bright Crutz. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. So Arnold and Susan ran a Ponzi out of Alberta, Canada. And eventually they got fined because of all the fraud warnings that investors were putting out. And then they got a slap on the wrist, $5,000 fine. <laughs> a government doesn't care if you're messing with uh, regular people's money. As long as you don't mess with your income tax or banks, then you, they, they'll either kill you or put your ass in jail. That's what I'm seeing here. But who the heck wants the RCMP, right? They send the scariest cops to your house, the ugliest officers that they could find. Tattoos, hairy arms, muscles, ugly mugs. And they're going to tell you, you're coming with me one way or another. It's like a scene out of the old RoboCop movie from the 80s. You're coming with me one way i don't think that's exactly what robocop said but basically that's what he said so people running ponzi schemes getting caught the embarrassment's probably worse than jail because then they get their names publicized like arnold and susan did okay and arnold and susan they're just the people who owned the scheme this gentleman um bill janman Jamin, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but Bill, 70-year-old guy, um, I'm thinking he should have known better. 
I know someone personally who I think they lost. Uh, they invested 15 grand in, in, a, in a Ponzi. They didn't know I do reviews. And uh, they're claiming, I know we spoke to them at one point and they said, oh, we got back like four grand and then we ran into trouble. So they basically lost like 11 grand and they're coming back and saying, oh, no, it's legit and we are paying our mortgage. If that was the case, then Bill would be retired wealthy and he wouldn't be arguing with uh, the Canadian uh, authorities like uh, Canada Revenue Agency. He'd just be paying them happily because he made a ton of profit. But as you can see, I'll include a link to this so I don't have to go through all of the information. So basically, a um, 70 year old guy who um, had lots of money, still didn't know any better and he invested in something that was too good to be true that revolved around network marketing recruitment eventually enough complaints because the passive people weren't making the promised roi that they were promised and then they started complaining to big brother in alberta and it got picked up by the alberta securities commission what did they do they just issued a fraud warning, but then they sent the RCMP to do a full investigation. So any of you guys, hey bud, in Canada, right, promoting these Ponzi's, if it gets bad enough, they will sell the RCMP over to your house. And most likely the embarrassment of you guys getting put into the back of a cruiser in your neighborhood in front of your neighbors is probably worse than jail itself to, to the great majority of people in the public who are trying to make money online so moral of the story okay is you can't get something for nothing um the majority of people investing in crypto don't have two million they're hoping to get two million but they keep the great majority of people that are following my channel keep telling me rory we like your advice we believe it and for some reason we don't follow it and uh we just keep ending up losing more than we ever gain. So I'm thinking like it's a gambling issue, a gambling issue and a um, too good to be true issue. There's no button that you guys could click and, uh, you know, fire your boss and get rich quick overnight without having to do a darn thing. You got to do something for the money. If you want to make money online, learn how to become a marketer. You can learn how to be, become a marketer by following uh towards that link underneath this video in the description first link in the description and actually click on it the great majority of you guys trying to make money online need to get some training okay very important now how this case is going is canada revenue agency that's like the equivalent of the irs in the u.s they're basically telling them that it's too late your deadline has passed to appeal this case and you gotta pay you've gotta fork up um what it is that we claim that you owe us regardless of you and your wife losing two million dollars in a ponzi scheme we're sorry uh, as representatives of canadians uh, but if you guys you know are silly and want to lose your money doing something silly then you have to face the consequences but you can't write it off because your deadline has passed so i'm seeing a lot of young guns out there um pushing these ponzi's and they keep losing more than they're gaining um a lot of young ones out there i'm, I'm gonna close this off with the idea that you know it's it's probably better to be a young fool than an old one guys wouldn't it be that's what i'm thinking of Anyways, guys, hopefully you get um, the nugget in the story. With every dark uh, cloud, there comes a silver lining. Okay. So, anyways, guys, uh, this concludes my review on the 70-year-old Canadian gentleman out of Alberta, Canada, who scammed himself and his wife out of $2 million of their nest egg. And now they got to pay taxes on that loss. Okay, so any more stories like this that can help you guys, I will share. Again, my name is Rory Singh from thepowerhousemarketer.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching my reviews. 
And if you didn't subscribe, subscribe, bell notification icon. If you're still looking for a legitimate way to make money online, powerful opportunity, lucrative and legitimate. And we're not going to tell you a load of bunk like, hey, you could just click a button and make money. We can teach you how to make money, but it comes down to your willingness and persistence to make money. And if you're ready to roll up your sleeves and actually start the real make money process, guys, you can follow that link underneath this video. First link in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.